In this video, we are going to discuss that is our do while loop. So how this do while loop can be coded in our Scala. So unlike while loop, which tests the condition that is the loop condition at the top of the loop, in case of do while loop, it checks the condition at the bottom of the loop. And a do while loop is similar to a while loop except that a do while loop is guaranteed to execute the conditional body at least once. The conditional code will be executed at least once. So that is the guarantee we are having. So here we are having the conditional code will be which will be executed at first and then the condition will be checked. If the condition is true then again the conditional code will get executed and if it, if it is false then it will come out and if the condition is false then the next line which will be there just after this uh, do while uh, loop will be executed next. So here is the do then curly brace then conditional code then curly brace we are having this block denoted and then while condition. So syntax the following is the syntax of do while loop. So do within the curly braces will be writing the statement or statements whatever we require and then while condition will be there. Notice that the conditional expression appears at the end of the loop. So the statements in the loop execute once before the condition is getting tested. If the condition is true the flow of control jumps back to do and the statements in the loop execute again. This process repeats until the given condition becomes false. So let us go for one Scala coding, sample Scala coding to give you the idea how this loop is getting executed in the program and we shall also discuss, explain and we shall show you the output. So here is the demonstration for you. In this program we shall show you that how to use do while construct in our Scala programming. We know that in case of do while construct the condition that is a while part will come at the end of the loop body. So do then curly braces we are going to put our statements. This particular within curly braces we can put a single statement or multiple number of statements if we require and then while will tell that whether the next time the iteration can get executed or not. We are having this idea that in case of while do if the condition is false initially then obviously the loop body will not get executed. But in case of do while at least once this respective body will get executed then while check will enable while check, while check will decide whether the loop will get executed again or not depending upon the fact whether the condition is becoming true or false. Here this bar a is equal to 10 so a is of type integer and it is having the initial value of 10 so at first the 10 will get printed a will become 11 in this particular st uh, statement. So now 11 is less than 20. So again the loop will get uh, will be executed and when this value of A will become 20 then 20 less than 20 the loop cannot be executed. That means this value of A will get printed from 10 to 19. So let me go for the execution for the better understanding here you see the value of A is equal to 10 then the value of A is equal to 11 value of A is equal to 12 in this way we are getting this value of A is equal to 19 up to that and then it is exiting from the loop because after printing 19 the value of A is becoming 20 and 20 is less than 20 this condition is becoming false so it is coming out from the loop construct. So the following example to understand that loop control statements that is a do while statement in our Scala programming. Thanks for watching this video.